Hey guys, as you can see, I'm taking a little more of a gothic vibe for this project. I decided to change it up a little bit. So this is going to be set in the dream world that we're creating here in this channel, but just change it up a little bit for the interior. I found this cool design online somewhere, maybe it was Etsy, and I laser cut it with two different pieces so that they overlap and make a 3D looking piece. Then I grab my airbrush to color it black. I do really like my airbrush. I brush paint sometimes, but the airbrush just makes things a lot faster, especially when priming large surfaces like this, but it also gives you a really nice even finish. And of course, while I already had the file for the window, I used the outer outline for it to cut a hole in the wall for it and glued that in. I wanted this room to feel a little claustrophobic. It's only gonna be like this small bedroom of this gothic mansion. And I'm hoping that the light through the window will really bring drama to the piece. Now this is a texture that I also laser engraved into this piece of wood for the floor. And I'm coloring that. I attach my walls with wood glue and let them dry using my one, two, three blocks there to keep it flat and straight. And then I use my liquid latex technique again on the walls, which is where I just dab on some liquid latex and then paint right over it. And once that dries, I can use my fingers or an eraser to start peeling the paint away. And it just gives this really great texture of old paint that's peeling. For the floor and walls, I generally use MDF board and quarter inch about but I also use some foam board as well. So I think on the ceiling here, I used a couple pieces of foam board. It really depends on how lightweight or durable you want your piece to be. It's also much easier to work with foam board. Hot glue is also something that I use quite often, especially when using foam board. So I just attached these to ceiling pieces. Then for a lot of the other pieces, I did some 3D printing. There's a new 3D printer I've been really wanting to try. So I reached out to the company in hopes they'd send it to me. This is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, and so far it's been my absolute favorite FDM 3D printer yet. So I've had multiple FDM printers in the past, ranging from about $200 up to about $800 units. This one comes in at $1450 because of this added AMS unit. I think without the AMS, it's more like $1200 or something like that. It's a fully enclosed printer that has a few features, including really fast printing that I've just not had before, at least not at this quality level. It being enclosed, it also can do ABS and other materials like that that need the extra heat really well. And so far, I've not had problems really at all with these prints. I mean, I just throw a print at it and it prints beautifully and way faster than other 3D printers. The AMS unit allows me to have different colors or different materials all inside, and I can either have it just switch between them, between prints, whatever I select in the software it'll use, or you could even do multiple colors within a print and it'll switch back and forth and make that happen. The inspector has even enjoyed this printer. He was scared a couple times with some of its loud and strange vibration noises in the calibration process, but so far he's really enjoyed the prints that it's come off of it as well. So I printed out this Mimic dice tower for fun. The detail was amazing. And then also this dice box that was geared. It just print beautifully. All the gears worked perfectly together. I had no issues. This was a quick test with ABS. And as you can see, it performs really well. This is the first time I tried ABS. Before I wanted to get into any real parts, I tried this and it worked great. I had also asked them to send me one of their textured PEI plates because I really like the texture ones from previous 3D printers. And honestly, I haven't even tried anything else. It works so well. The prints have been sticking very well to it and I've gotten the prints off with ease. As soon as it cools down, they just slide right off. So honestly, this printer has just worked for me. And so if you do want a printer that is just quality, it's fast and it just works, check out Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. I have a link in the description. So these are all parts that I modeled and 3D printed on the Bamboo Lab. For the trim details, I also 3D modeled and printed a bed. And then I found a model online for a dresser that I 3D printed. One trick that I use on a lot of these FDM prints is taking them off the printer and then spraying them with a filling primer. 
basically it's just a primer and a spray can, but it has a filling property and you can even sand it afterwards. So it fills in some of those layer lines and hides it under the paint a lot better than just right off the printer. So once I pieced these together, I took them outside and sprayed them down with that and then also used my airbrush to get a coat of paint that made it look a little more like wood. I really like finding models online that people have already designed because it can make my life easier, my projects quicker, and it makes it easier for a lot of you to get into this hobby by just being able to get files that have already been made, print them yourself, and try to weather them, age them, and make them look the way you want. It's a really easy way to get into this. Speaking of aging, I use pigment powders a lot to make things dirty, dusty, decayed, molding, all those types of things, and so I use water down isopropyl alcohol first, and that just helps the powders to stick, and I also can use them dry to make it look more of like a dusty texture. If you watch my videos at all, you'll see me using that a lot. Now for the bed, I wanted to use some kind of a sheet, and I'm not great with fabric, but I've learned a couple tricks from other creators. I think this one came from Aira Bentley at Bentley House Minis, where I just make this watered down glue solution and soak it in that, and then I try to form it how I'd like on the bed and leave some heavy things on top of it for it to dry in place, and it makes it dry in a way that looks like it has more gravity to it. It looks more natural. And I also use different inks and powder and stuff to dirty it up as well. But here you can see I'm using some wax paper so that it doesn't stick to it and a weight on top of it. And now you can see how it just lays down very nicely in a way that looks natural. Now let's see how it turned out. Big thank you to Bamboo Lab for sending me the X1 Carbon. It's been so cool, and this is definitely not the last time you're gonna see it. I'm gonna be using this thing for all kinds of things coming forward. Thanks again for watching, for supporting my channel for these couple of years now. It's been an awesome time so far. I really can't thank my patrons enough and people who have purchased my miniatures. If you're looking for a custom commission, send an email to me and we can definitely talk about it. But as always, guys, I can't wait to show you what's coming next and I'll see you next time.